So we're getting ready to do the zodiac sign Gemini. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. It could be someone who wants to come toward you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. It's the masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. See what do we have for Gemini? So you have message in the reverse. So somebody could be um, waiting for some type of message that they're not going to receive, or they wanted to receive a message and the the person is not going to um, send them a message. This could be bad news. You have the wealthy man. So maybe somebody was waiting to receive some type of message from, from this wealthy man or to hear from that person. They could have wanted to that person to communicate with them, but they're not communicating with this person. You have main female. So whoever this main female is, they could have, you know, been expecting to hear from this wealthy man, but they haven't heard from this person. You have marriage. And then family room. And then mature man. Despair. So it's like whoever this person is, they could have been attached to whoever this main female is in some type of marriage or relationship long term. And um, they receive some type of bad information, bad news, and they're in regret. They could have had a family with this person or something like that. And it's like whatever news that they received, they could be someone that um, is in an energy. This, this made this person want to mature or something like that. You have courtship. So somebody's in regret for dating somebody or having a relationship with someone. Or they could be in regret because they're not attached to whoever this privileged lady is. Because it's like that's their match. The wealthy man and the privileged lady, those are like divine counterparts. People that are together um, in this deck. That's their other half. Um, they're in regret for not dating this privileged lady. They were attached to this main female in some type of long-term commitment, a marriage. They could have been trying to build a family or they thought they had a family with that person and they ended up receiving some bad news. Judication. This could have been involved in like court, a court situation or something like that. Or they're realizing they were under judgment as they were attached to this person. They could have went through some type of karma. Toil and labor. Yeah, somebody was under judgment because maybe this person was somebody that was working, working very hard in this relationship. And they weren't attached to equal give and take like this wasn't this person's equal. So they went through some type of karma. They could have been overworking their cell. And they're sitting back in regret for not partnering up with someone that um, is their equal. Like the person that they want to be in a relationship with. Wow. You have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. I mean, I said the Ten of Cups, the King of Cups in the reverse and the Ten of Swords. So whatever this information is that they received, they were not happy. They didn't expect to hear this. This could have been someone that um, overly manipulated this person. They didn't love this person and they betrayed this person, like backstabbed this person. This was the ultimate betrayal. They played on this person's emotions.
You have the Eight of Pentacles and then the Hangman. The more and more they were trying to work on this situation, the more and more they felt stuck. The more and more they were um, needing to be enlightened about something. It's like they needed to release whoever that person is. Because as they were working on, um, you know, working hard in this relationship, it's like they could have been, as I said, doing all of the work. It was no equal give and take. That person was working hard to keep them in the hangman and you like stuck. You have the Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles and then Two of Wands. Yeah. It's like Whoever this Queen of Swords is, this is somebody that um, they wanted this person to hold back from. So maybe this person spoke some type of truth about them. And they wanted that person to be unsure. You know, stay away from that person. Hold back from that person. This could have been somebody that was very bitter, um, foul, very aggressive. And they were trying to keep that person at a stalemate, like to control them or hold on to them. It's like they were very manipulative. And they backstabbed this person multiple times. You have judgment. If they were trying to hold on to this person, keep this person at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take, they're under some type of judgment. Because they were only doing this because this person was secretly admiring whoever this uh, privileged lady is with this page of cups. Then you have the four of wands. Yeah. This is just like the courtship card. It's like this is someone that they wanted to be in a relationship with. Like they wanted to build some type of stability or they felt like that person was someone that was um, someone they could build a home with. They could have knew that this person was their divine counterpart and they were manipulating this person to stay away from that person just to keep that person waiting and keep that person at a stalemate. They didn't want someone to know that they were secretly admiring their divine counterpart. You have the nine of swords. Yeah, but this person... It, it led, whatever they were doing, it had that person in the nine of swords, like in despair, stressed out, depressed, not wanting to get out of bed, not wanting to be around people up all night, you know, just stuck in their head. You have the knight of pentacles. Ace of swords in the reverse. Yeah, it's like they lie. I'm so done. This person uh, spread some type of lie. To get inside of this person's head to like slow them down. You have the Nine of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords in the reverse. So they figure they can prevent that person from coming towards you so they would not find out the truth. You could be someone who knew the truth. Well, you could be this Queen of Swords. You could be someone who knew the truth about um, you and that person being divine counterparts. That person that they were attached to, they also knew. So they figure if they keep that person, hold on to that person, keep that person from coming towards you, that person would never know the truth. This would delay this person, distract this person. And they also could have spread some type of lie about you. It's like they knew that that person did not genuinely love them or didn't have any love for them. They were just had, you know, been attached to them in some type of long term relationship or commitment. Hold on one second. Yeah, so somebody figured if they, you know, could slow that person down, they would never find out the truth about you and them being divine counterparts. It's like they wanted that person to be under judgment for secretly admiring you. It's like they knew that you and them were divine counterparts. This person did not know, but you knew. They figured if that person came towards you, they would find out the truth. But that person was stuck in this nine of swords energy in despair, 
for a long time because they didn't come towards you. They were in regret for not, you know, dating you or being in some type of relationship with you. It's like this person wanted you while they were attached to this person. It's like they could, if you're this person's divine counterpart, they could not stop thinking about you. I lost myself for a while. So as they were attached to that person, they, they felt lost. Yeah, this is someone who wants you. Yeah, this person is wishing that things could be different. I knew exactly what I was doing. So yeah, that per whoever that person is, they knew exactly what they were doing. They were trying to hold that person up and um they were using some type of manipulation to keep that person stuck. Whoever this person is, they're wishing that they would have treated you better. So this person could have um, did something where they want to apologize. Like if they distanced their self from you or, you know, had you wondering what was going on with that person. Why haven't you heard from that person? Why, did, why is this person holding back? They're wishing that they wouldn't have treated you like that. I am becoming a better person. So this is someone who recognized that they needed to become a better person. They're feeling like you're leaving them behind. So as they were held up, you know, you could have been in this energy where you were, um, you know, in this, this um, privileged lady energy, working hard, focusing on you, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. And you're very abundant. So whatever it is you're doing, this person feels like you're leaving them behind and they're stressed out about it. This person could be stressed out because they have not heard from you or they have not reached out to you. But it's like they needed to sever ties with whoever this person is that they don't have any emotion for. It's like they were just there in some type of commitment with this person. While all they were doing was thinking about you. <laughs> 